been a really really long time since I've been in the water uh, and the only thing I can really do is to be happy that Halibut season is right around the corner and the second best thing is to reminisce about the peak of last year's season. In August 2017 we were a bunch of really good friends that rented a cabin out in northern Norway and we had three days of amazing spearfishing and here's the highlights of it. The most of the summer we do heavy hardcore spearfishing where we only do spearfishing we search for halibut for hours at end but this trip was just as much good times with friends in amazing Norwegian nature. Some were experienced spearfishers and some were beginners, some had never even been in the water. But there was something for everyone and we didn't let anything get in the way of some serious diving sessions. We had two boats which made spearfishing really comfortable seeing the best time to dive is during high tide and low tide and you have to be able to have a boat to drift with the current otherwise it's just pointless. The currents really pick up between the tides and also there's only a few spots where you can still dive between tides. So for the first day we had really really good visibility. The current was absolutely perfect, we got in just before the full tide. And I got down to this really nice drift and I was just letting the current do all the work and she just lay down right in front of me. second fish I spot from the surface. Uh, the current I've picked up though, so I have to go for this long shot. Luckily the fish seemed to be out, but you never know with halibut. And I knew that it was gonna get deeper, so I borrowed Seba's spare gun to secure it. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Oh, <laughs> little Hollywood. This guy is a crabby. Lula, you want so happy? Very happy. Now Lula is very happy, happy, and, and he's just gonna drink and drink and drink and drink and be happy. Put you still gotta get like the really big one. Yeah, I can do that another day. Do you eat that kind of fresh as you can? Yeah, the cheekbone is very good. Again, we get in the water with perfect condition. I see this 40 plus minus kilo fish at the end of my dive, but the cheeky fucker just want to play around. And as it started to swim with the current, I had no chance of catching up with it. Itamar spotted another fish, but it was too strong of a current. I tried to be driven back with the boat and drift over the same area, but the fish was long gone.
Later, during the second dive, Seba shot a beautiful halibut. However, the current was really strong and the line got tangled in a rock. I was able to swim down against the current and get a decent second shot. Seba got picked up with the boat and drifted over it and managed to untangle the line and pick up the fish.
<laughs> so I, I think I can keep it. Like you can. Like you're at 15. Day three started like all the other days for me, except this time I was shit out of luck. I was using my old spare gun and I drifted above this really big halibut, swam down against the current, took aim and... Needless to say, I was absolutely gutted. The fish got away, my shaft got away. You develop so much respect for these fish when you spend hours at end looking at desert. And when you see them, you get super excited. So I was absolutely gutted that I actually fucked up the shot. But I went back to the cabin to listen to some black metal and screaming out and uh, hoping that my mates picked up the luck that I dropped. last day, yeah. Ewell hasn't got any halibut, but after five hours, they went from tight to tight, he finally get his trophy fish and he managed to secure a 52 kilo, absolutely beautiful halibut.
right the camp is struck again.